Yo, what's up? This is Ken. Welcome back to the channel. I'm very glad that you're here. This week's episode is actually about Gene Dawson. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys don't know who Gene Dawson is, he's a half Mexican, half Amer like African American artist. Um, he recently released his two albums so far, uh, Pixel Bath and Bad Sports. I have not listened to Bad Sports yet, but the past week I've been listening to Pixel Bath like it's my fucking like every day man i've been listening to it every fucking day um check it out it's fucking sick my top songs from that album would probably be devilish triple double dummy bruce boy starface policia and these yeah these are the songs and and oh six burst i really like that song even though um it's a very dance influenced track however i feel like it might have been a bit too messy because there's like certain parts where it kind of didn't really like transition very well but otherwise i did like that album let's start with the i guess the basic chord progression first and it sounds like this okay so um i honestly don't really know the chords i just know their power chords i'll try and look it up and then i'll put it up screenshots for you to see but here's how i played it so these are the chords uh i believe this is an f sharp so f sharp power chord so f sharp a g f sharp g f so those are the chords yeah let's just see what kind of effects i put on it so this time i put a micro shift so i really like this uh preset it's called acoustic guitar clean white for some reason it really makes things sound really nice so let's say i just play this it sounds like this like a very nice like guitar tone then i added the rock preset from the uh, amp analog the amp um, audio effect from ableton sounds like this so it gives a bit of that grit and then i use this cabinet cabinet um audio effect i think what it does is that let me let me just look it up what the cabinet does is that it emulates guitar cabinets uh, and apparently, so this is a very good way to add warmth to a sound. So before it sounds like this. Sounds a lot more warm, right? And after that, I just cut off the low ends because I didn't want it to like um, affect the drums. So... For those who want to know, this song is in G-sharp minor and what I did after that, I just played this in the G-sharp minor. This is just the G-sharp minor pentatonic scale. Uh, I used the small room wood preset on the Vahara room. I think I didn't change it, but if I did, here you go, you guys can copy. I use a lot of live sounding drums besides the kick because I wanted the kick to be very strong. So this is what the drums sound like. So um, in, a gene, in this kind of music, you don't really want like very glitchy drums or it doesn't need to be super complicated. It's just like very simple live sounding rock-ish sounding drums. That's all you want because uh, you want to give a lot of room for the singer to go crazy. So yeah, keep the drums simple and very live sounding. Live sounding. I used a drum break to kind of just add more texture. I layered two different snares because I like the high end of one and the low end of the other. Yeah. And then this is the one with the nicer low end, so I just put it both together.
Yep, so that's pretty nice. And then I found this ride and shaker loop on my Ableton library. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, I then put a bit of drums room preset on so it sounds more live. Uh, you know what I always use, the capitated drum fattener one. It's like almost a cheat code in my opinion. And then I kind of rolled up a bit of the high end because I wanted I didn't want it to be such a bright sounding song. After that, we get into this. I found this loop on Splice because I thought it was nice. And it's so, um, some of these melodies, I kind of really put it very low. As you can see, it's like minus, almost minus 30 decimals because um, I don't want like new elements in a beat to kind of throw the whole vibe off. <clears throat> Uh, in, in tracks like this, you kind of want to keep it kind of simple, but add subtle things here and there so that um, the singer and the listener knows when the, the transition happens. That's why I also have that white noise thing, that white noise riser. Yeah, so as you can see, like, I'm not trying to have the melody like very in your face because at the end of the day you want the singer to still be the main um, focal point in music like this I then added this like very atmospheric bell from Analog Lab which is called Long Bells um, yeah Yeah, after that we get into this section which I like because if I'm not mistaken Gene Dawson uses a lot of like very weird synths in his beat as well. I couldn't really find a very nice I guess section in this beat to put it in but I found this like I use this chorus lead um, mini V3 preset and it sounds like a very nice like low end bass so I thought I'd just keep it in. Um, the melody here is just uh, what I'm doing is that I'm arpeggiating the chords I played just now. Um, if you guys want to know how I did it, I guess I can show you to you. Yeah, pitch one up by one. Like 12 semitones. After that, I just added a bit of RC20 Vinyl 3. I think I didn't really change much to the preset besides turning off the noise. So I didn't really want the noise. I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. Um, if you guys like music like this, uh, beats like this i have free beats in the description uh go check it out uh it's, I, I just created my website as well so it's like a new beat store of mine for any artists or singers who like um, this kind of beats like uh paris texas kind of beats death grips kind of beats go check it out the link will be in the description you can find the final beat in the link description below as well and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video peace